Hello everyone, welcome to a new video and today we are talking about the legendary pan snares. It is so legendary that the internet doesn't seem to know what exactly that is. Pan snare seems to be only available in random obscure corners of the internet, for example the YouTube comment section or some reddit forums and some question answer sites. Nothing very significant, so I think this is a good thing to address. So to begin with, we need to understand what a pan snare is, right? I'll play you a little bit of a sample from a big song that a lot of you might know if you know Dead Step. So here you go, a little bit of tinnitus. Can you identify the metallic ring? So it's kind of like a pan being hit by something. Now that you know what pan snare is, let's look at the history of pan snares. Where did it come from into the dead step scene? Or was dead step the originator of pan snares? Well, definitely dead step was not the originator of pan snares. Pan snare was originally found in grindcore. Grindcore is a subgenre of metal, heavy metal. It's also called gore grind, but I do not know the subtleties of heavy metals to comment any further. So whoever knows that, please leave your helpful comments. So before Pantsnare was a thing in Death Step, it was a thing in these two. And specifically, there's one, one band that was mentioned by Moth. And this is the this is an artwork from that band. Their name is Last Days of Humanity. They're still a functional band. Their debut was made in 1992, and they are still functional. So that's what that's a long time, and I'm glad they're still around. So Last Days of Humanity was one of the bands that used pan snares way, way, way before you heard your favorite producers use it. So. We are definitely not the pioneers, but we will still find out the history of things. So remember the names, the chronology of the people that came in the scene from my previous videos? If you don't remember, I'll give you a quick refresher. SI, that was 2009, then Crispy, I'm only writing down the dates that are relevant to us in terms of Death Step, so that was 2009, then Paratkila. That was 2011 and then and then I will write two names that are significant for us Moth and Code well Code at that time was called Static Reset I mean he was half of Static Reset those of you who do not know Static Reset is a duo between Code and another producer called Ash and Ember who sadly doesn't produce anymore as of the last time I checked. So this was I think 2013. Well, Mod started producing in 2011 and Code started producing probably some time but according to their online pages like Facebook pages and SoundCloud profiles, 2013 was when they started putting stuff out. So how did this obscure little term get into the mainstream and become a signature of Death Step? I mean, you can find a lot of people who will say that Death Step is defined by pan snares. Instead of trying to figure out what was the first track that used a pan snare, because I have not been able to do that in spite of going after this one, one video for the last one month, more than one month, I've been behind people asking questions, figuring out, listening to random tracks to figure out what was the first. And YouTube and SoundCloud, they are terrible when it comes to figuring out stuff based on date because they'll show you seven years ago, eight years ago. I'm like, uh, a year has a lot of months and a lot of days. Exactly when was that? Please show me. And nobody shows that. At least YouTube still does show that. So. But in spite of all that, I was not being—I was not able to figure out exactly what or which track was the first. So let's keep that aside. 
but what we can do is we can see how it kind of became mainstream pants snares mods influence definitely was a big 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 starter and then code pandorum especially code pandorum later in somewhere in 2015 when he started doing stuff under code pandorum and after static reset that was when i think everybody started picking up hand snares and then it kind of spread it's like a forest fire you know there is a fire it kind of spreads and then everybody kind of gets the fire that fire well imagine it's fire okay it's fire 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 there's a lot of fire everywhere the fire of hand snare and uh, yeah that's how it spread and today it's become such an important thing that there are arguments in comment sections about a, a track being dead step for or not having for not having pan snares which is which is funny like it can be dead step without pan snares but who am, I, who am i to say ask your producers ask your producers what they're producing anyway i think i have made my point the point was what is pan snare well you know pan snare it's a normal snare which has a metallic ringing sound and it kind of sounds like a frying pan being hit and it's a musical frying pan let's say how did it become mainstream in the death step scene because people started making amazing tunes and you know when somebody makes something and somebody else has to make something from the ones previously they pick up elements so people started hearing pan snares they thought okay that sounds interesting i could probably use that and they start using them using the snares in their own tracks and that's how it spreads like a forest fire forest fire of pan snares and i hope i hope i made that a little bit clearer but if not oh well i tried <laughs> anyway that was my pan snare blabbering and i'll see you guys in the next one bye Oh, oh, before you go though, there is a secret announcement and the announcement is regarding the book. Don't forget the book, right? <laughs> that was the ultimate goal of everything. The release date is final. We have a release date. Yes, finally, I have, I have been waiting for this day for a long time. And the day is, well, it's not this year, sadly. It's not this year, but it's next year. It's not too far though. <laughs> Uh, come on. It's not too far. It's just 21st, hey, not 21st, sorry, 25th of January 2021. That's the launch date. Mark your calendars or an easier way of doing it is just go hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure it's turned on and set to all notifications and not personalized that way you will know every video when it comes out and i will make a special video for the launch so make sure you'd be there there will be there probably will be goodies but we'll see about that <laughs> i'll not indulge in too much detail right now 25th january 2021 um yeah, the big date. <laughs> and until next time, bye-bye.